Because, I mean, they're begging you to... They are begging you to take them back. You see this? They could even be getting on their knees, crying hysterically. With all that money raining down from the heavens, y'all about to have that bag, it seems. An opportunity here, or you're starting your own business. Honestly, y'all, this individual's survival depends on y'all. It, it really does. Like, without you, I don't know how this person is going to survive the world and get things done in life and you know, have peace and order in their life. Like somebody's realizing that they invested in the wrong person. They did the wrong thing. And now they want to come back to you the month of May because you're about to receive some sort of abundance from spirit. Hello, Virgo. How are you? Welcome back to the channel. Starseed Zide here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys. Okay, this is your general read for May 2023. It is a general read. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't behind. Crosswashers, you are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the link tree link in the description box below. I want to thank everyone for all the support. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, guide us in this read. For my Virgos, what messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. Okay, Virgo. I heard the name Bernicia. I heard the name Bernicia. We have Pisces on the side. So that's the High Priestess and the Hangman on the side. Neptune getting ready to station direct. Mm. The moon, cancer energy. This is the moon and the chariot. Then you have number 10 on its side, the wheel of fortune on the side. You could be a life path number one. We also have the magician, Gemini energy, and we have the fool. Mm. I feel like... Okay, I was getting like this purgatory type of energy, like something still needs to play itself out. You have unfinished at the bottom. So I feel like, oh, I feel like because abundance is going to be there. I do feel like this could be talking about a love situation and we're going to see what the rest of the cards have to say. But we have abundance there. And, you know, yes, I look at the words like the name of the cards, but sometimes I just look at the images and I feel like you're about to get the final puzzle piece that you need to have financial abundance, financial freedom, financial success. The month of May. I feel for a lot of you, the download is going to come in your dreams. Like, that's what I'm getting. It could even be coming through your intuition, through your guides. Oh, these cards are choppy. Almost like you're worming your way out of something. Some sort of cycle. Yeah. Let's see, Virgos. Oh, yeah, there is a love situation here. Ghosting. Third party and waiting game. Somebody's ghosting a third party to come be with you. Okay, somebody is ghosting a third party and they're gonna they're gonna come be with you, okay? Dating is there, you know, they could have ghosted y'all back in the past, okay, to go be with this third party, and now the irony is now this individual is gonna ghost this third party and try to reunite with you the month of May. Children, some of you could have kids, you could be a single mother, single father, karmic cycle is there. And abundance. So, I feel like y'all are about to be rich, honestly. <laughs> but that's what I get here. Yeah, unfinished. Uh, owl. So, there's spell work being done as well, up in the air. Then you have death and dice. Somebody's realizing that they invested in the wrong person. They did the wrong thing, and now they want to come back to you the month of May because 
you're about to receive some sort of abundance from spirit. Somebody gambled this connection with you. Now they want to come back. Because in May, they're going to see you with that, that money. I mean, look at that. Look at all that money raining down from the heavens. Y'all about to have that bag, it seems. An opportunity here, or you're starting your own business. Some of you could be on TV, even. That's been coming up in a lot of the reads. Some of you work from home, I'm hearing. Work, working from home, working from your laptop. I also got something about the Philippines and Thailand. I heard the name Jennifer. Teamwork. Yeah, now they want to collaborate. <laughs> now they're going to collaborate with you, tell you that they want to be with you when they try to block you and keep these secrets. You know, they didn't say anything when they ghosted y'all. What else we have? Yeah, the past. I'm, I'm telling you, y'all, it's the past. Somebody here that ghosted you guys... They see you in your abundance, and now they want to come back in. Yeah, divine timing and finances. They're running out of money. They're running out of money. They don't know how to get money, or they could have been laid off. Karmic justice and contract. The karmic ran off with all of their money. <laughs> so somebody that goes to you for a third party, they're about to come back and ghost the third party. It's ironic, honestly. Like, I don't, I don't know what to think about it. And you guys are going to be rich. You're going to get an opportunity here. Let's see what the tarot has to say. What does the tarot have to say, spirit? For Virgo, what's going on here? There we go. You know, sometimes the energy wants to be stubborn. It wants to be stubborn, but I'm telling you, we got to work with it. Let's see. Look, the Ace of Swords. Communication coming in from this person. It could be May 11th. Okay, it could be May 11th. Or May 14th. The Magician. Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Wands in Reverse, yeah. You're manifesting it big, but I feel like this individual isn't. I feel like they're really struggling. They made the wrong choice. They made the wrong choice getting involved with this Queen of Swords. You see, this Queen of Swords, this third party, they took all the money. They took everything. Now they closed that cycle out. That cycle has been closed out, okay? That cycle with the Karmic, that's over. Yup, Three of Wands, but the Karmic is watching to see if y'all have a rebirth here. The Death and the Ten of Cups. Like, this third party is obsessed with y'all. <clears throat> Yep, Three of Swords. This third party is still in love with this masculine energy. You're over here showing up as the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Wow. The Two of Wands. Look, somebody, I'm telling you, Six of Cups. I can't even make this up. Look at this. Two of Cups. Somebody thought, you know, that they needed to go a different path. And that's why they left you behind and left this connection behind. So then you were left single. But you got your back, you got your money, you're about to be doing amazing. Look at this. Look at this person, how they're approaching you. A page coming to the Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Swords and em Emperor. So your counterpart betrayed y'all. They betrayed y'all and they betrayed the mission. Because they went to go build with a Queen of Swords and they were never supposed to do that. This Emperor and Ten of Swords tells me that this individual, they were never supposed to get involved with this third party this lifetime, okay? Spirit sees this as a betrayal, not just to you guys, but to this individual and to Spirit themselves, because this individual shows up as the Emperor. So that tells me, Virgo, the, you know, the hard truth of the situation, this individual has always known that they were supposed to be with you. 
yes, they have gotten reads and whatnot, but I'm telling you guys from the moment they cross paths with y'all, they knew that you were their person. They knew it deep down on the inside that you guys were meant to be together, that you guys are supposed to be together. That's why Spirit is seeing it as a betrayal. Spirit is seeing this as a betrayal on this individual's end. Now this individual is coming back to y'all. It almost seems like they're they're homeless or something. Because, I mean, they're begging you to... They are begging you to take them back. You see this? They could even be getting on their knees, crying hysterically, begging y'all to, to take them in. But look. Look at this. This is how you appear. I'm telling you, something is happening the month of May where it's like, you guys are rich or you're getting like a really good check. I don't know what's happening here. Or you're getting a bonus for starting a new job. Okay, something here is happening to y'all's money. Like, do you see this? This is insane. It's insane. Your guys' money, like, you're going to have money. Don't even stress about the money, love. Okay, that's what they're saying here. Don't stress about the money. Your money is going to be good. You keep doing what you're doing. You keep manifesting, okay? Keep studying, okay? Keep pursuing your career ventures, your business ventures, okay? Keep going. Spirit is saying, do not stop under any circumstances virgo because you are well on your way to being the first millionaire of your family the first multi-millionaire of your family okay some of you have an inheritance coming in very soon that was delayed okay there could have, there could have been an, an inheritance excuse me that was delayed here that somebody was trying to take from you but i see that coming in as well for those of you that you know that resonates for page of pentacles five of cups this individual is coming back to you as a page of pentacles making an offer to the empress and the queen of pentacles uh, Page of Pentacles, Five of Cups, they know they effed up, they know they chose the wrong uh, path, okay, the Two of Wands there, you see there's two paths, it's like they knew, like, th this is, like, Lord, give me the patience, please, okay, because, listen to what I'm going to tell you guys, like, this individual, right, you see there's two paths there, and one path is sort of dark and it goes into the woods, like, you can get lost in there, but then this path has the sun, shining down on it and there's a stag right the ace of pentacles like it was clear as day what path this individual needed to choose it was clear they knew which path they needed to take that night of walls in reverse they just wanted to have fun they wanted to live their single life they just didn't want you to move on they wanted to live their single life but if they told you that they wanted to live their single life, they felt like you would have moved on. So that's where, like, the ghosting and the weird, you know, the weird uh, back and forth, that's where that comes in. To, you know, give you just enough, right? So that you're strung along. And, you know, that way this individual doesn't end up alone when they're older. Okay? Th this individual is very much being selfish and trying to control the situation. And the worst part is that they love you. Like, where they do this at? <laughs> and the sun there. Look, the sun with the seven of wands, they block their own happiness and success. They, they're they going to come back to you this May. But the thing is, it's going to be up to y'all if y'all want this individual back or not, this divine counterpart. Like, this individual didn't just break your heart, they broke their own heart. Because they're in love with you. And they know there's a spiritual decree. The Hierophant. It's crazy. It, it, it's crazy. I, 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 don't, I don't get it. Look, Lambert, if I'm telling y'all they got lost, now they want to... Uh, I, I, I think they're still lost. Yeah. They're still lost. They're still trying to find themselves uh, out of the maze. Honestly, y'all, this individual's survival depends on y'all it, it really does like without you i don't know how this person is gonna survive the world and get things done in life and you know have peace and order in their life like they're just lost like they don't know how to have structure routine discipline they could be need honestly they could be needing uh, some sort of medication or they could be needing some sort of uh, therapy or or having to stay at a group home or something because it seems to me like they struggle with functioning as a adult like or or expressing their 
emotions it's something weird here that's going on with this individual like it like they're right now they're throwing themselves a pity party and feeling sorry for themselves um and they feel betrayed by the universe by you by the third party it's like they're basically wanting to play the victim here they they want to paint themselves as a victim but it's like they don't want to acknowledge you know that ostrich ostrich trap like they're they're just their heads right in there in the sand like they don't want to lift their head up and see you know that they are where they're at because of the decisions that they have made yeah fine print and spilled milk regrets yeah leave it in the past cannot be changed disappointed clean up time like this individual really believed that they were going to build a successful life with a karmic yeah yacht adventure affluence luxury literally they thought that they were going to build this life with this karmic now they're coming back to y'all urcage possessive codependent cling restless okay um th th this and also this is also representing what this individual wants to do to y'all the month of may like they want to lock you down okay they want to isolate y'all okay cabin is going to be there they want y'all to be isolated they they want to take control of the situation yeah bedroom is there as well this is why they didn't pursue you guys. They wanted to fulfill their, their fantasies, you know, fishing pool. Like, there's plenty of fish in the sea. They wanted to fulfill their bedroom fantasies. But now, that is, that, that's why they got with the third party. The third party and this person had open relationship. That's what I've been seeing. And you know what? This individual got to have their cake, and now they want to eat it too, which is having you guys. They knew that you guys were not going to allow, um, you know, an open relationship. That's why they did what they did. Basically, as like taking a stab at y'all, like, okay, you're not going to let me sleep with whoever I want. Then I'm going to go with this person over here and, you know, parade every Betty, Jane and Sue in front of you. And there you go. I got what I wanted, and now I'm going to get you. Like, this is the energy I'm picking up on with this person. This person is crazy. Okay, they're crazy, y'all. Y'all better stay away. Y'all better stay away from this mess. Yeah, slingshot is there. Oof, kerosene. This is, this is a bomb getting ready to go off. This individual is a mess, y'all. This is some toxic energy. Fish hook and chess. Like, this, this is the grand design. You know, even though this individual, it says consequences of actions. You see, even though this individual has gone through this, it's like in their head, they're thinking, well, at least I got to, you know, do this, this and this with this person over here and that person over here. Like, I don't know. I don't know what to think. Y'all are going to have to make a decision. What's Virgo going to do? Cross. And diamond. Yeah. The pearl is there. It's like this individual is gonna try to propose to y'all at the at, at the last resort. Like if you if you reject this person, Virgo, they're gonna try to propose to y'all. They could be trying to propose to you guys twice. Well, And no, Spare is saying not to accept their proposal. They're saying not to. You know, because, well, it says community, hidden emotions, nourishing, social resources, true feelings, support, savings, susten sustenance provided for. Almost like Spare is saying this individual is only coming back to you guys now because of this financial glow up that you're about to have. Yeah, tools is there. Yeah, you're you're gonna be working several jobs here. Handcuffs. I feel like this person is gonna go to jail in the future. In 
incapacitated. I, I feel like this individual is going to go to jail in the future, Virgo, and maybe that's why Spirit is saying to just say no to this person right now. It's, it's something weird. You guys might want to watch the Cancer read, where, like, the feds are investigating Cancer's person. You know, that, that read could apply to y'all, Beehive. Yeah, it's like this individual was in some sort of hive mind. Summer and autumn. So we go from the summer to the autumn. But autumn can be associated with Sam Hain. So death. The summer, the summer equinox. Summer solstice, excuse me. Mm. I think what this is saying is you're going to have to choose what you wish to do with this. But just know what y'all getting yourselves into. Because I feel... <sighs> I just feel like this person, like, they did too much weird stuff. Yeah. Like, that, that, that naked woman, and then the Knight of Cups. Like, they were always... <laughs> now they see you in that Four of Pentacles. Like, they were always out here. A dog. In the streets, yeah. King of Wands in the world, I'm telling you. Dating profiles, dating apps. I feel like y'all are going to close this out for good and you're you're not looking back. You're closing this out the month of May and you're done. You're you're not looking back at this. That's what I'm getting here. You know, like this individual might even say like y'all are twin flames or something. But and you know you could be, but honestly, that didn't matter before to them. You know, they still went and ran off and did what they did. So y'all gonna have to make a decision, but I'm just gonna leave it here. That is a read. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck, and I wish you love and light. Take care. Mm -hmm.